So I'll be reading Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 14. We're in Jeremiah chapter 7 right now. And it says false religions. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, who come through these gates to worship the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Reform your ways and your actions, and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words and say, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly, if you do not oppress the foreigner, the far the followers, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in this place, in the land I gave your ancestors forever and ever. But look, you are trusting in deceptive words that are worthless. Will you still in murder commit adultery and purge, burn incest to Baal, and follow other gods you have not known? And then come and stand before me in the house which bears my name, and say, We are safe. Safe to do all these detestable things. Has this house which bears my name become a den of robbers to you, but I have been watching, declares the Lord. Go now to the place in Shiloh, where I first made a dwelling for my name, and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people Israel. While you were doing all these things, declares the Lord, I spoke to you again, and gave you, and again, but you did not listen. I called to you, but you did not answer. Therefore, what I did to Shiloh, I will not now do to the house that bears my name, the temple you trust in, the place I gave to you and your ancestors. I refresh you from my presence, just as I did all your fellow Israelites, the people of Ephraim. So do not pray for these people, nor offer any plea. By the way, I'm reading out of the NIV. The Lord, are they not rather harming themselves to their own shame? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. My anger and my wrath will be poured out on this place, on man and beast, on trees of the fields, and on the crops of your land. And that will burn and not be quenched. This is what the Lord Almighty God of Israel says. Go ahead and add your burnt offerings to your offer, your other sacrifices and eat the meat yourself. For when I brought your ancestors out of Egypt and spoke to them, I did not just give them commands about burnt offerings and sacrifices, but I gave them this command, Obey me, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you, that it may go well with you. But they did not listen or pay attention. Instead, they followed the stubborn indications of their evil hearts. They went backward and not forward. From the time your ancestors left Egypt until now, day after day, again and again, I sent you, my servants, the prophets, but they did not listen to me or pay attention. They were stiff-necked and did more evil than their ancestors. When you tell them all this, they will not listen to you. When you call to them, they will not answer. Therefore, say to them, this is the nation that has not obeyed the Lord its God or responded to corruption. True past perish, it has vanished from your lips. Cut off your hair and throw it away. Take up a lament on the bearing heights, for the Lord has rejected and abandoned this generation that is under his wrath. The people of Judah have done evil in my eyes, declares the Lord. They have set up their detestable idols in the house that bears my name and have defiled it. They have built the high places of Tawaf in the valley of ben Helen to burn their sons and daughters in the fire. Something I did not command, nor did I, did it enter my mind. So beware, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer call it Tawaf of the valley of the ben Helen, but the valley of Tawaf. For they will bury the dead in Tawaf until there is no more room. Then the 
the carcass of the people will become food for the birds and the wild animals, and there will be no more be no one to frighten them away. I will bring an end to the sound of joy and gladness, and to the voices of bride and bridegroom, and the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, for that land will become dissonant. Jeremiah chapter 8. At that time, declares the Lord, the bones of the kings and officials of Judah, the bones of the priests and prophets, and the bones of the people of Jerusalem will be removed from their graves. There will be a source to the sun and the moon and all the stars of the heavens which they have loved and served, and which they have followed and consulted and worshipped. They will be not gathered up or buried, but be be like bones lying on the ground. Wherever I banish them, all the survivors of this evil nation will prefer death to life to perish the Lord Almighty. Sin and Punishment Say to them, this is what the Lord says. When people fall down, do they not get up? When someone turns away, do they not return? Why then these people turn away? Why does Jerusalem always turn away? They cling to the seat. They refuse to return. I have listened attentively, but they do not say what is right. None of them repent of their wickedness, saying what I have done. Each preserves their own force like a horse charging into battle. Even the stork in the sky knows her appointed season, and the dove the swift and the fresh. I serve the time of their migration, but my people do not know the requirements of the Lord. How can we say we are wise, for we have the law of the Lord, when actually the lying pen of the scribes has handled it falsely? The wise will be put to shame, they will be dismayed and trapped, since they have rejected the word of the Lord. What kind of wisdom do they have? Therefore I will give their wives to other men, and their fields to new owners. From the least to the greatest, all are greedy for gain. Prophets and priests alike, all practice deceit. They dress the womb of my people as though it were not theirs. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Are they ashamed of their detestable conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. So they will fall among the fallen and they will be brought down when they are punished, says the Lord. I will take away their harvest, declares the Lord. There will be no grapes on the vine, and there will be no figs on the tree, and their leaves will, will wither. What I have given them will be taken from them. Why are we sitting here, gathered together? Let us flee to the fortress cities and perish here. For the Lord of our God has doomed us to perish and given us poison water to drink because we have sinned against him. We hope for peace, but no good come has come for a time of healing, but there is only parlor. The snoring of the enemy's horses is heard from Dan. In the name of their stallion, the whole land trembles. They have come to the war. The land and everything in it, the city and all who live there, See, I will send them a mistake among you, vipers that cannot be charmed, and they will bite you, declares the Lord. You are my comforter in sorrow. My heart is faint within me. Listen to the cry of my people from the land far away. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is her king no longer there? Why have I aroused my anger with their images, with their worthless foreign idols? The harvest is past. The summer has ended, and we are not saved. Since my people are crushed, I am crushed. I mourn and my horror, horror grips me. Is there no bomb in Gala? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Jeremiah chapter 9 ran. Oh, that my head were a spring of water, and my eyes a fountain of tears, I would weep day and night for the slaying of my people. Oh, that I had in the desert a lodging place for travelers, so that I might leave my people and go away from them. For they are all adulterers, a crowd of unfaithful people. 
they make ready for their tongue like a bowl to shoot lies. It is not by truth, like a trunk in the land. They go from one thing to another. They do not acknowledge me, declares the Lord. Beware of your friends. Do not trust anyone in your clan. For every one of them is a deceiver, and every friend is a slander. Friend deceives friend, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to lie, and they worry themselves for sinning. We live in the midst of deception, and their deceit, they refuse to acknowledge me, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty says, the hour of fine and test them. For what else can I do because of the sin of my people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow. It speaks deceitfully. With their mouth, they all speak cordially to their neighbors. But in their hearts, they set traps for them. Should I not punish them for this, their cause the Lord? Should I not avenge myself or in such a nation of this? I will weep and wail well for the mountains and take up a lament concerning the wilderness grasslands. They are dissonant and untroubled, and lowing of cattle is not heard. The birds have all fled, and the animals are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a haunt of jackals, and I will lay my waste towns of Judah so no one can live there. Who is wise enough to understand this? Who has instructed by the Lord and can explain it? Why has the land been ruined and laid waste? like a desert that no one can across. The Lord said it is because they have forsaken my law, which I said before them. They have not obeyed me or followed my law. Instead, they have followed the stubbornness of their hearts. They have followed the boss as their ancestors taught them. Therefore, this is what the Lord our mighty God of Israel says. See, I will make this people eat bitter food and drink poison water. I will scatter them among the nations that neither they nor their ancestors have known, and I will pursue them with the sword until I have made an end of them. This is what the Lord Almighty says, Consider now, call for wailing women to come. Send for the most skillful of them, and let them come quickly and well over us, till our eyes over overflow with tears and water streams from our eyelids. The sound of wailing is heard from Zion, however we are. How great is our shame, we must leave our land, because our houses are in ruins. Now you women, hear the word of the Lord, open your eyes, open your ears to the words of his mouth. Teach your daughters how to well, and teach one another a lemonade. Death has climbed in through our windows, and has entered our fortresses. It has removed the children from the streets, and the young men from the public squares. 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 How do you say it? Squirrels? <laughs> Squares. Say this is what the Lord declares. Dead bodies will lie like dung on the open field, like cut grain behind the reaper with no one to gather them. This is what the Lord says. Let not wise boost to the wisdom. Let not the wise boost of their wisdom, or the strong boost of their strength, or the rich boost of their riches, but let the one who boosts boost about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord, who exercise kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in these I delight, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will punish all who are circumcised only in the flesh. Egypt, Judah, Edom, Ammon, Moab, and all who live in the wilderness. In the wilderness, in distant places, for all the nation, for all these nations are really uncircumcised, and even the whole house of Israel is uncircumcised in his heart. God and idols. This is the next chapter. Chapter Jeremiah 10. Hear what the Lord says to you, people of Israel. This is what the Lord says Do not learn the ways of the nations, of the worldly stuff surrounding us Christians, or be terrified by the signs in the heavens. Though the nations are terrified by them, for the practices of the people are worthless. They cut a tree out of the forest, and a craftsman shaped it with his chisel. 
They adorn it with silver and gold, and they fasten it with a hammer and nail, so it will not potter. Like a scarecrow in a cucumber field, their idols cannot speak. They must be carried, because they cannot walk. Do not fear them. They can do no harm, nor can they do any good. No one is like you, Lord. You are great, and your name is mighty in power. Who should not fear you? King of the nations, this is your due. Among all the wise leaders of the nations and in all their lands, there is no one like you. They are all senseless and foolish. They are all taught by worthless wooded idols. Hammered silver is brought from Targish and gold from Updis. What the craftsmen and goldsmen have made is then dressed in blue and purple, all the made by skilled workers. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God, the eternal King. And when he is angry, the earth trembles. The nations cannot endure his wrath. Tell them this, these gods who do not make the heavens and the earth will perish from earth. And from under the heavens, everybody's false religion will perish. And everyone will bow down to the true God, Jesus Christ. But God made the earth by his power. He founded the world by his wisdom and stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he thunders, the waters and the heavens roar. He makes the clouds rise from the ends of the earth and he sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. Everyone is senseless and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is shamed by his idols. The images he make are a fraud, and they have no breath in them. They are worthless to the objects of mockery. When a judgment comes, they will perish. He who is the portion of Jacob is not like these, for he is the maker of all things, including Israel, the people of his inheritance. The Lord Almighty is his name. Come in destruction. Gather up your belongings to leave the land who live under siege. For this is what the Lord says, At this time I will hear out those who live in this land, and I will bring distress on them, so that they may be captured. Woe to me because of my industry. injury. My wound is incurable, yet I said to myself, This is my sickness, and I must endure it. So, my tent is destroyed, all the ropes are snapped, my children are gone from me and are no more, longer more. No one is left now to pitch my tent or to set up my shelter. The shepherds are sheep in the census and do not inquire of the Lord. They do not prosper and all the flock is scattered. Listen, the report is coming. A great commotion from the land of the north. It will make the towns of Judah desolate and haunt of jackals. Jeremiah's prayer. The Lord. Jeremiah's prayer is a prayer to God. Lord, I know that the people's lives are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. Discipline me, Lord, but only in due measure, not in your anger, or you will reduce me to nothing. Pour out your wrath on the nations that do not acknowledge you on the peoples who do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob, they have devoured him completely and destroyed his homeland. So next chapter is Jeremiah 11. I'm gonna read this article in my Bible. God is smarter than people. They guys are as good as a scarecrow in a circle in the cucumber field. Jeremiah 10 verse 5. They can't speak. They can't walk. There is no reason to fear them. And they don't do anything. Any good. Time after time, God told his, the Israelites never to worship other gods. It was the very first of his commandments. See Exodus 23. Exodus 20 verse 3. And now the prophet Jeremiah offers good reason the Lord expects to be worshipped. No one is like you, Lord. You are great. As Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 6 says, Among all the wise leaders of the nations, there is no one like you. God made the earth, 
bypass power. In spite of the Lord's obvious and amazing, people continue to bow to idols. Until God reaches a logical conclusion, everyone is senseless and without knowledge. That's the other way of saying that sometimes human beings aren't very bright. The phrase expresses one of the great teachings of the prophet, the comparable of God. God is not something better than them. God is not something better than other gods. He alone is the living God. But he is better than every, he is better than among false gods, false religions. He is better than all the false religions in the world and he is over that jeremiah chapter 11 the covenant is broken this is the word that came to jeremiah from the lord listen to the terms of the covenant and tell them to the people of judah and to those who live in Jerusalem. tell them that this is what the lord the god of israel says curse is the one who does not obey the terms of this covenant the terms I commanded your ancestors when I brought them out of Egypt, out of the iron smite and furnace, I said, Obey me and do everything I command you, and ye will be my people. And I will be your God. Then I will fulfill the oath I swore to your ancestors to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, the land possessed, you possessed again. I answered, Amen, Lord. The Lord said to me, Proclaim all these words in the towns of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Listen to the terms of this government and follow them. From the time I brought your ancestors up from Egypt until today, I warned them again and again, saying, Obey me. But they did not listen or pay attention. Instead, they followed the stubbornness of their evil hearts. So I brought on them all the curses of the government I had commanded them to follow, but they did not keep. Then the Lord said to me, There is a conspiracy among the people of Judah and those who live in the Jerusalem. They have returned to the sins of their ancestors, who refused to listen to my words. They have followed other gods to serve them. Both Israel and Judah have broken the covenant I made with their ancestors. Therefore, this is what the Lord says, I will bring on them a disaster. They cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. The towns of Judah and the people of Jerusalem will go and cry out to the gods to whom they burn incense, but they will not help them at all when disaster strikes. You, Judah, have as many gods as you have towns. And the altars you have set up to burn incense to that shameful god Baal are as many as the streets of Jerusalem. Do not pray for this people or offer any plea or a pension for them, because I will not listen when they call to me in the time of their distress. What is my beloved doing in my temple as she with many other works? out her evil schemes. Can Contraret and Met avert your punishment when you engage in your wickedness, then you rejoice? The Lord call you a thriving olive tree with fruit beautiful in form, but with the roar of a mighty storm, he will set it on fire and its branches will be broken. The Lord Almighty who planted you has decreed disaster for you because the people of both Israel and Judah have done evil and aroused my ankle by burning incest to Baal. Because the Lord revealed their plot to me, I knew it, for it, for I knew it, for at that time he showed me what they were doing. I had been like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not realize that they have plotted against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree, its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living that is the name he remembered no more. But to the Lord 
are mighty who judge righteously and test the heart and mind. Let me see your revenge on them. For to you I have committed my cause. Therefore, this is what the Lord says about the people of Enada who are threatening to kill you, saying, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by our hands. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish them. Their young men will die by the sword, and their sons and daughters by famine. Not even a remnant will be left to them, because I will bring disaster on the people of Anna in their year of the punishment. So we're going on to Jeremiah 12. Jeremiah's complaint. You are always righteous, Lord, when I bring a case before you, yet I would speak with you about your justice. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all the faithless live at key east? You have planted them, and they have take root, and they grow and they bear fruit. You are always on their lips, but far from their hearts. Yet you know me, Lord. You see me and test my thoughts about you. Drag them off like sheep to be butchered, and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the man fly, parch, and the grass in every field be withered, because those who live in it are wicked? The animals and the birds have perish. Moreover, the people of say are saying, He will not see what happened to us. God's answer. If you have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out, how can you complete with horses? It will stumble in the safe country. How will you manage in the thickest by the Jordan? Your relatives, members of your own family, even they have betrayed you and they have raised a loud cry against you. Do not trust them, though they speak well of you. I forsake my house, abandon my inheritance. I will give the one I love into the hands of her enemies. My inheritance has become to me like a lion in the forest. She wars at me. Therefore, I hate her. I hate her. Has not my inheritance become to me like a speck of a bird, a prey that other birds of prey surround and attack? Go and gather all the wild beasts Bring them to the war. My enemy shepherds will be ruined. My vineyard and trampled down my field. They will turn my pleasant field into a desolate wasteland. It will be made a wasteland, parched and desolate before me. The whole land will be laid waste because there is no one who cares. All, over all the barren heights in the desert, the shores were swamped for the Lord of the Lord. For the sword of the Lord will devour them from the end of the land to the other. No one will be safe. They were so weak, but reap farms, and they were wear themselves out, but gain nothing. They were bear the shame of their harvest because of the Lord's fierce anger. This is what the Lord says, as for all my wicked neighbors who seized their inheritance, I gave my people Israel. I will uproot them from their land, and I will uproot the people of Judah from among them. But after I uproot them, I will again have compassion and will bring each of them back to their own inheritance and their own country. And if they learn well the ways of my people and swear by name, saying, as surely as the Lord lives, even as they once taught my people to swear by Baal, then they were be established among my people. But if any nation does not listen, I will completely uproot and destroy it, declares the Lord. So we're going into Jeremiah, the last page, 13. A linen belt. This is what the Lord said to me. Go in a, go in buy a linen belt and put it around your waist but do not let it touch water so i bought a belt as the lord directed and put it around my waist then the word of the lord came to me a second time take the belt you bought and are wearing around your waist and go now to petra and hide it there in a service in the rocks so i went and hid it at petra at the lord's as the lord told me many days later the lord said to me go now to petra and get the belt I told you to hide there. So I went to Petra and dug up the belt and took it from the place where I had hidden it. But now it was ruined and completely useless. 
the word of the Lord came to me. This is what the Lord says. In the same way, I will burn the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. These wicked people who refuse to listen to my words, who follow stubbornness of their hearts, and go after other gods to serve and worship them, will be like this belt, completely useless. For as a belt is bound around the waist, so I bound all the people of Israel and all the people of Judah to me, declares the Lord, to be my people for my renown and praise and honor, but they have not listened. Wineskin, say to them, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, every wineskin should be filled with wine. And if, if, and if they say to you, don't we know that every wineskin should be filled with wine? Then tell them, this is what the Lord says, I'm going to fill, I'm going to fill with drunkenness all who live in the land, this land, including the kings who sit on David's throne, the priests, the prophets, and all those living in Jerusalem. I will smash them, one against the other. Parents and children alike, declares the Lord, and I will allow no pity or mercy or compassion to keep me from destroying, destroying them. Hear and pay attention, and do not be ignorant, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he brings darkness, before your feet stumble on the darkening hills. You hope for light, but he will turn it to utter darkness and change it to deep gloom. If you do not listen, I will weep in secret because of your pride. My eyes will weep bitterly, overflowing with tears, because the Lord's flock will be taken captive. Say to the king and to the queen mother, come down from your thrones, for your glorious crowns will fall from your heads. The cities in Negev will shall be shut up, and there will be no one to open them. All Judah will be carried into exile, carried completely away. Look up and see those who are coming from the north. Where is the flock that was entrusted to you, the sheep of which you boosted? What will you say when the Lord sets over you? Those who took the rented as special allies will not pain grip you like that of a woman in labor. And if you ask yourself, why has this happened to me? It's because of your many sins, that your skirts have been torn off and your body mistreated. Can an Ethiopian change his skin or leopard its spots? Neither can you do good. You are accustomed to do evil. I will scatter you like chaff driven by the desert when this is your lot, the portion I have decreed for you, declares the Lord. Because you have forgotten me and trusted in false gods, I will pull you up, pull up your skirts over your face, that your shame may be seen, your adulteries and your lustful names, your shameless prostitution. I have seen your detestable acts on the hills and in the fields. Woe to you, Jerusalem! How long will you be unclean?